Hello and welcome to another installment of The Guitar Case. My name is Brett Rosell. A couple weeks ago I posted a video of 1979 by The Smashing Pumpkins. And today I'm going to kind of look under the hood and show you the chords used so that you could put this song together on your own at home. So for starters, you're going to need to tune your instrument down a half step. So you'll take your tuner and you'll take each string down a semitone. So that's E to E flat, A to A flat, D to D flat, so on and so forth. Once you're down a half step, our low E string has now become E flat. And our key signature of this song is going to be E flat major because the whole tune is based around the tonal center of this E major chord shape. Okay, so now let's run through all the chords that are used in the tune and then I'll show you the progressions. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the chords that we're going to use in this song. Okay, so the whole tune is going to be based around this E major chord shape. All right, and this E major shape is going to be our tonal center and he's going to play with the suspension between this E major shape and this E major seventh shape. Okay, so those are our first two chords. You're gonna need an E major, you're gonna need an E major seventh. The next two chords that we're gonna use are an A major, and the only difference here is I'm gonna cheat just a little bit and free up a couple fingers so that I can walk around and play with some of these uh, melody notes when I'm hovering on A major. The other chord that we'll use in relation to A is the A major seventh chord. Moving on, we'll have two variations of F sharp, okay? We're gonna have a traditional F sharp minor bar chord that we'll use in this tune, as well as an F sharp minor seventh chord, stretching that pinky finger up to that high E on the second string. Okay, only a couple chords left. We're gonna be playing a B major chord on the fifth string. Again, I'm going to cheat just a little bit here and treat it a little bit more like a power chord so that I can keep it free uh, as this is going to be a, a passing chord in the song. And then lastly, we are going to use a C sharp minor chord shape anchored on the fifth string and we'll use that in the interlude. So those are all the chords that we're going to use in 1979 and now I'll show you the actual chord progression. Okay, so the last step Let's put these chords into the actual progression. So for the verse, you're gonna start by playing with the suspension between an E major seven and E major. So you're gonna come from your E major seven to your E major. You're gonna resolve onto your A major chord. And again, I'm gonna leave my uh, two fingers free here so that I can walk around and play with some melody notes. So it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> You'll walk through that three times and at the end of each little verse vocal stanza he's going to transition from a F ma sharp minor seventh chord to a B major chord and that's going to loop you back to the start of your progression. So if you take it from the F sharp minor chord it's going to be back into your verse chord progression. Okay, let's run through your chorus. It's gonna be kind of the, the opposite where you're gonna anchor on the E major chord. You'll notice I'm kind of setting up in anticipation of that E major seventh chord. So I can just simply add and release this pinky finger to accommodate that. So I'm kind of gonna come in on a big E. So big E major, I'm going to simply remove that pinky chord to play with that E major 7th a bit and then transition to an A major 7th chord. You'll transition out of the chorus the same way that you were transitioning out of your verses with an F sharp minor seventh to your B, back to your verse. Okay, so the last chord progression that you're gonna need is the bridge. 
three chords, really easy. You're gonna come in on your B major chord. You'll transition up to a C sharp minor. And then you'll come down to an A major. Okay, you're gonna do that three times. And on the fourth time through, you will use the same segue that you used for your verse and your chorus. We will come in on the F sharp minor seventh to your B, and that's gonna segue you back out and into your verse. Okay, so you're gonna come from B, C sharp minor, A. You do that one more time, or two more times, and then segue out. That is a really quick rendition of all the components of this song <laughs> really quickly. Uh, let me know if this was helpful or if you want these broken down into smaller segments and I can take a little more detail in each component. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to The Guitar Case. I'm Brett Roselle.